Luna Moth Creations, and I am back with another box. Yay! Um, I already just opened this, but I haven't gotten into the box. But anyways, if you are new to my channel, hi, thanks for coming. I do witchy subscription unboxings as well as self-care subscription unboxings, tarot and oracle deck uh, unboxings and reviews. And I have more things planned. I keep saying this. I really do. I promise. <laughs> um, if you are a returning friend, thanks for stopping back in. I appreciate y'all so much. So this is the Magic Hour. Um, it's a tea subscription. And then they put some extra goodies in there. Um, this is for February. And I finally just got it. And this I had signed up because they had like a three-month... Um, like chakra journey so last month um, which actually I got it this month but it was earlier this month was the crown chakra tea which was amazing and it was blue I will link that video um, at the end of this video if you guys were interested so this one should be the third eye chakra so I'm excited about that and I think once this and then I'll get the um, throat chakra would be next month March so most likely I will resubscribe because um, I want all the chakra teas and so far the tea is really great so um, I'll probably just keep with the subscription um, but I also upgraded for this um, I'm, I constantly have like shirt issues anyways um, I upgraded for this box and I'm getting um, like an extra really great goodie and I know what it is because they already told us um, but yeah I'm excited so let's do it so first off you get their paperwork and it is um, just like informational stuff about the teas that they already have which they have tons of teas and you can get them in like different ways um, their violet, I think they call it their violet glass apothecary jars, which I upgraded for that because seriously, they're gorgeous. Um, pouches, and I guess they have some tea travelers, and then of course their subscription box. Um, and the subscription has different tiers, so again, I will link that below if you guys are interested. I think they send this in every one, so this is, um... Uh, new moon and full moon plus eclipses um, for the whole year actually so I actually have it sticking up somewhere so maybe I had said to you guys I will be doing a giveaway box or um, I guess it's gonna be a box it's gonna be a box um, I'm gonna do a giveaway I'm waiting for maybe one more box one more subscription box for this month and then um, I've kind of compiled things that um, either don't resonate with me or I have duplicates of or I just felt like passing along so um, stay tuned for that but maybe I'll put this in here because I already have one so there's that and then they have this um, vibration of possibility it came in the last box as well and it just talks from going from shame to enlightenment um, and it says raise your vibe courage is the gateway to magic so what do I, I don't know what I need to do to, to hit each level. I'm working on it, I guess. Um, and then they have a cute little um, connect the dots, little T thing into a heart. This is my invoice. So we just have a bunch of crinkle paper. So we'll go ahead and get the tea out because I've got some um, hot water here because I was gonna drink the tea. And I like I said, I get the, I'm gonna move this. I get the um, Violet Apothecary Jar, so they've got it nicely packed. Let me get an X-Acto knife. Clean up a little bit. All right. And it's got, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's got their logo on it, Magic Hour Time for Infinity. Very cute. And then... Look how gorgeous this bottle is. And the cool thing about this is you can get the tea 
um, like say if I want more of this tea after I use all this, I can um, order the tea and then put it in my in my violet jar. But uh, yeah, okay. Sorry. Well, it's very reflective too, and then my lighting is always shit. So, um, but I did get my income tax. Yeah. So I am going to start researching um, some of those big, like, square stand-up lighting things um, to use for my YouTube. So yeah. Anyways, okay. It's got some sticker stuff on it. I cut my finger. They become easier. Oh, that's a terrible noise, but here's the um, cap. And then we just have a cute little ribbon that says magic hour. All right. Let's see if it tells me. So of course it says the, it's a black tea, ceremonial teas, um, third eye chakra, and it's called Epiphany. Um, rightly so. And it's, it's got organic, God, I can't fucking see, organic black tea, organic pura tea, organic elderberry fruit. Everything's organic. I'm not going to say it anymore. It's all organic. Black currants, blackberry leaves, blue cornflower petals. Yes, it's going to turn it blue again or purple. And then natural flavors. And it has 40 milligrams of caffeine. I don't have my monster sitting out here, but it's in the fridge. <laughs> So, okay, I've got my little tea ball. Look, I got this from Etsy. It's got a little triple moon with a, I guess, well, I thought it had a tree of life behind it, but I don't know that it does. And then I've got my cute little spoon with a little crescent moon. Okay. All right. I see the blue corn flowers. Fun, 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 fun. And there's more than just me like drinking this tea. <laughs> um, I have a, another surprise in the box that we're gonna look at. So anyways, it's so beautiful. Oh, okay. Let me swirl this. Oh! It's not turning blue. You guys see that? It's turning, I don't know if it's showing up that great. It's almost like, Man, all my leaves are coming <laughs> through my ball. Oh, well. It's kind of a reddish orange. Oh, it smells so good. I smell the uh, black currant. Oops, I got some. I still had a little bit of something, something, something there. All right, so we're going to let that steep a bit. I got my sugar right there. Okay. Oh, there's more that, there's more than, okay. So I has, I has something here. Oh, there's something there. Okay, I think that's it. I didn't really expect anything else. Um, I'm making a mess on the floor, y'all. Okay, so we have this paper that's purple and it has a ribbon that says Magic Hour on it. And it says, T for intuition, steep for awakening a heightened state of second sight intuition. One heaping teaspoon, three to four minutes, and then it tells you a bit about the tea and the sacred mantra for this tea is, I am intuitive. So there is that, okay, I know it's, it's hard. I'm gonna have to lay this out and then it, um, it says, I am intuitive. I am clear-sighted, I see beyond duality, I see, therefore I co-create, I see possibilities. It's got the uh, symbol for the third eye. I'm imaginate, I am imaginative, therefore I co-create my life, I see beyond illusion, I am wise and knowing, I see, therefore I am. Again, yeah, I'm gonna have to lay this out with something to uh, make this so flat. Um, I like to put the paperwork that I get from these boxes 
um, in a like a three ring binder like in um, pr protective sheets so I can reference back to them because a lot of them like the witchy subscription boxes have um, rituals in them and then um, again this is just such a pretty paper and it tells about the tea I don't really want to throw it away or anything so that will go in my binder with my subscription box stuff Ooh. We've got Apothecary Bath Soak Grapefruit Lemongrass. Ooh, this is a great jar too. Oh my God, I'm gonna keep this. Ooh. I seriously just got some of it up my nose. <laughs> I just inhaled Epsom salts or something. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. How wonderful is that? And it's glass, like, this is a beautiful jar. I need like a, a thing that holds these, like beaker <laughs> jars. That is gorge. Okay, and so since I upgraded, um, I don't remember what the upgrade is called. I will link this below. And again, oh, I'm having such problems, okay. Um, it's probably because my belly's gotten fat, okay. Um, but I'm starting a new workout program. If any of y'all want to do a workout program with me, Leave me a comment below because um, if you've never heard of Anita Herbert, look her up on Instagram. She is fabulous. I've done her programs before. Um, I'm going off on like a like a squirrel moment here. Sorry, guys. Um, I have done three or four at least of her challenges. They're like a six week um, weightlifting workout challenge, um, and then she makes you a meal plan. Um, and this one starts March 15th and I need to take my photos for that. So you send her like photos and you do a questionnaire. She makes you a meal plan. Everybody gets the same workout plan. And then we're all on a Facebook group and it's great because you're like, people are posting, they're working out and all that. I had broken my foot in the middle of one of her challenges. So I had to stop obviously. And I just have not worked out since then really, not consistently at all. So I finally was like, okay, this is getting bigger, so I need to get on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So if you guys are interested, leave me a comment and I will link you up, because I think I have, I have like a, um, she gave me a coupon thing for $10 off. So it's normally like $79, so it would be $69 um, for that. And I know you're like, what does working out have to do with tea? Nothing at all, just talking. Okay, so. You may have already kind of seen what I just had. I've got an Oracle deck. So it is the uh, Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed. If you guys don't know Colette Baron Reed, check her out. I love her. She's on um, YouTube as well. Um, she has such a calming vibe. I've done um, some of her uh, meditations, they're so great. She also does like a Oracle um, like cruise, I think it is, where you go and you learn how to read Oracle on a freaking cruise ship. I mean, I know that it's kind of, you know. Okay. We're about steeped there. Um, I know that because of COVID, like the last time, I gotta get enough sugar out of here. The last time after I just talked about working out and eating better, my sugar is like stuck. But I like two scoops in my tea. But, anyways, yeah, I would love to take that cruise one of these days. Um, and um, see what her Oracle class is all about. But she has a bazillion Oracle decks. They're gorgeous. I have several of them. Um, this, I believe, is the newest one. And um, I wanted it, so I'm like really excited um, about getting it. So there is the front, and there is the back. And it says, Oracle of the Seven Energies, the wisdom of the energy of seven, which, you know, it's probably everybody's lucky number, but yeah, like, I love the number seven. 
The wisdom of the energy of seven can be seen in cultures all over the world, in belief systems throughout history, and in your own life today. Its influence is reflected in the way you think, how you make decisions, what you encounter within yourself, and the conditions of your world. Drawing upon the power of seven, this oracle reveals how we as individuals experience our lives, giving us a framework from which to make empowered choices as we co-create our reality. With guidance from intuitive master and oracle expert, Colette Baron reed you can now awaken to the power of source within you, becoming a channel for divine abundance and miracles. Um, also, um, with Magic Hour, this company, they do a weekly get-together tea, and then they do a monthly, um, I don't remember what it's called, but probably like this month, Colette is the, um, the guest, and so everybody goes on Zoom, and then she kind of is like our speaker, so um, each month there's a new person that they feature or whatever, or topic. I can taste the the black currant. That's pretty good. All right. I think I like the crown chakra tea better, but but it's still that's really good. Oh, it's a magnetic. I love that magnetic closure. So it says, create your most." Beautiful and meaningful manifestations. And then we've got our guidebook, which is one of those cute little, um, and there's Colette. She's so cute. Yeah, check her, check her out, y'all. She is totes adorbs. Okay, so here are the backs of the cards. And we're just gonna keep the camera facing this direction and we're gonna go for it. So we have Earth Magic, Roots of Abundance, Time Machine, Great and Full, Body and Soul, I might do this direction. Let me know what you guys think. So, um, in my video that I just posted, um, I turned the camera around and do the deck where it's just the deck. Let me know if you like that better or this better. Um, this is better on my back because <laughs> I have to lean over if I'm doing it on my desk just because of the way my setup is. It is what it is. I say that all the time. A deep breath and I swear when I'm looking at my I do this on my phone when I look at it everything's cool and in frame and then I put it on YouTube and I'm like I'm like this or something and you guys <laughs> probably can't see anything <laughs> into me I see I want to get um, okay I'm like I want to get a actual like camera to do this. The roses kiss. Close encounters. In perfect harmony. They're very pretty and dreamy. Did I showed you the back, right? That's the back of the cards. I can't remember if I did. Bearing fruit. Feeling the world. Oh, this is pretty. Beautiful and uncaging. Beautiful uncaging. A powerful move. The royal you. The storyteller. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
the power of purpose. I've got like wet hands. Oh, I love this one. Waking the lion. How pretty is that guy? A merry motive. This to me is so like cauldron in the middle, which is running around like merry meat. <laughs> Exposed and revealed. Aw, tender embrace. Healing the heart. Let it go. Let it go. Nobody wants to hear me sing. Birds of a feather. Great big love. When they say big love, it makes me think about that um, polygamy TV show. And they call it big love. Anyways. <laughs> I don't think that the card meaning is polygamy, but you never know. I mean, I haven't read the guidebook. A grand symphony. Broken open. That's very pretty. Ooh. Awakening genius. Shining through. This is pretty. Call of the Muse. Oh, I like this one too. <laughs> Quieting the mind. My mind is very difficult to quiet. So I have been, foxes have been showing up. I think I've said this in a couple of other videos. Sorry, I've got like something in my eyeball. Um, I don't know what, I'm, I, I don't know. Is this the spirit animal for me? I'm not really sure, but I keep getting foxes. So ears wide open. Oh, are they telling me I need to listen? Shut my mouth and listen? If you ask my boyfriend, that's hard for me to do. Opening to discovery. <laughs> A tall tale. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Pinocchio. Seeing beyond. So this goes with our third eye chakra T. Very nice. The Oracle's Gift. Oh, and then we have a teacup. Blurber layer. Endless possibilities. Hmm. Wish upon a star. Makes me think of my grandbaby girl. The land between. Ooh, my boyfriend's gonna like this one. A higher view. He likes some some owls. We've got one that hangs out in the backyard and hoots at us all the time. Smoke and mirrors. Here goes my dog barking again. Spirit of gratitude. Divine matrix. Beyond the Ordinary. The Uncharted Sea. Sacred Reverence. A Burst of Magic. Is that what it said? Yep. Burst of Magic. And last card, Willing Release. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna draw a card. What do we need to know today? Broken open. We've got number 28. Broken open. Put that right there. Okay, let's see what Colette wrote about that. Did I say 28? Okay, so this is. Um, this little book is, is because it's called the Oracle of the Seven Energies. It's broken down into um, seven different energies. Energy one is earth. Here, let me see if I can go back here. Energy one is red earth. Energy two is orange water. Okay, 
it's in the chakras. This so chakra team. I keep dripping. Okay. Energy three is yellow fire. Energy four is green love. Energy five, sky blue sound. Energy six, purple light. And energy seven, golden white thought. Very nice. So yes, those are the chakras. All right, so we said number 28. Number 28 is in the... Energy for love. Okay, broken open. It says, key concepts, the gift of grief being shattered as a result of loss, the potential inherent, the potential inherent in failure. There are situations in life when you see the value of loss, grief, and a broken heart. Yet it's not the pain or loss itself that must be the focus of your attention here. No, not even the story of what happened. The details surrounding what has brought you to your knees is as important as what results from the experience. Can you see that the situation has broken you wide open, enabling you to have an even greater capacity for love, compassion, empathy, and understanding? You cannot be the same person as before. The only way forward is to move through it without resistance or manipulation, without attempting to bargain with unseen forces because none of your usual fallbacks can put you back together again. If you do fall prey to self-absorption or self-pity, it will just make it harder to, get to, harder to get to the next gradual phase leading to relief. Yet even if you are prolonging the inevitable, you will get there eventually. The gift is in accepting who you've become as a consequence of integrating this difficult experience and allowing yourself to be more than you were. This wisdom, this wisdom comes at a high price, but the value of your experience of moving through and to the other side is unsurpassed. Love the you that is the result of being broken open by life's challenges and lessons. Awesome. So I really am excited about this box because I got tea and I got an Oracle deck. Ooh, and I got um, bath salts. That sounds like I'm gonna do drugs. This is um, a bath soak. Okay. So what do you guys think? Um, the tea is really good. Um, I like um, the crown chakra better, but I mean, this one's still really great and it's got an excellent color. Look at that. It's kind of a, I wish that it would have been like, like a third eye color, but that's okay. That's all right. My other one's blue. This one is like a deep like red orange color. So, um, it's very cool. I'm loving it. What do you guys think? I will link it below. They do have, like I said, a bunch of different options. Um, I'm sure that you can get uh, the the crown chakra tea. I'm like pointing to my crown chakra right there. Um, you could probably still get that. I, I don't know that you can get the box. I'm not really sure, but it's like a three month journey, like I said. And then I would assume after I get the throat chakra tea that they would have another three month. Um, or if you just subscribe to the whole thing, you're gonna um, you're gonna go ahead and get these. Um, and then if you do the upgrade, then you get the cool, um, like in my first box in January, I got a book. And then this month I got the Oracle deck. So, and then of course you get the weekly, um, I can't remember what they call them. It's like a Monday, Monday get together tea thing. But, I mean, there's a really cool name for it. And then there's the uh, monthly tea that probably, like, Colette will be talking for that. So, anyways, I appreciate you guys taking a look at my video. What do you guys think? Please leave me a comment below. If you um, have not subscribed to me, I would really appreciate if you would. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And until next time, I'll see you then. Thank you.